focus your energy. Hold it. Let it circulate through every nerve and channel. Now push that power outwards towards the book. That's it. Well done, Freddy. Keep going. We'll see how you lead us into the future. <sighs> Two fingers, that's it. If you were any good at your job, this pile of bones would have given up weeks ago. Vladdy would be commanding a glorious vampire army, and I... I would be out of this stinking breather hole and in a luxury castle in Surrey. Surrey? Mm -hmm. Well, it's just a little pad I've had my eye on for a while. If it wasn't for this buffoon, I'd be picking out a portcullis by now. Do better, or you'll answer to me. Sorry, I... <sighs> He's right. You should have opened the book by now. You've got the raw power. I can sense it. Something's distracting you. What? No, he didn't. He said kismet. Oh, uh, global warming. Well, yeah, you know, the little polar bears and penguins. And... All right, let's take a break. We'll do vertical flying at eight. Homework? Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, pretty stupid story, right? Mm. One guy gets the wrong message at the wrong time and they both end up dead. <laughs> so, I, I was thinking, if you'd like, maybe you and me could go into town? Not like on a date or anything. <laughs> unless, unless you want to. Are you asking me out? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'll meet you by the gates at eight o'clock. Okay. Cool. Uh, catch you later. <clears throat> Hunting. Can I come? Well, I, I suppose it might be educational. Master, the uh, last of the Duchess of Cambridge, 1937. I'm going on a night hunt. Hmm. Master, you're taking this pup hunting? Well, why not? Man's best friend and all that. If he's your best friend, what am I? A filthy infected pustule I can't seem to get rid of. Oh, thank you. Soy blood! My vintage blood replaced with this tasteless synthetic goo! Right! Assemble everyone! I will worm out this cowardly maggot and crush them. So when are we going hunting? Cancelled! Ting.
You are all suspects. Well, except for Renfield, obviously, because he's a filthy little breather. Oh, thank you very much. And Wolfie, because he's too young to drink blood. You two may go. Might I suggest you put a guard on the blood cellar? Good idea. Wolfie, guard the blood cellar. Don't let anyone in. We'll be out on your ear. But, Master, all that pup does is bark and scratch himself, and yet he And gets... yet he's more useful to me than you've ever been. But I can prove myself, Master. I'll catch the blood thief. Yeah. Oh, stop you're... whinging. Now go and help Wolfie prepare for his guard duties. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Well, I'll catch blood thief. I will. I will. I will discover the truth. I will. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, which of you was it? No, I don't touch the stuff. I only drink soy substitute. Me too. Yeah, right. I've seen you drinking blood with my own eyes, and he drinks it by the gallon. Could I have stolen it? I spent all my time training Vlad. Enough! You are all grounded until the culprit owns up. But I've got to... The only thing you've got to do is open the books so we can all get out of here. When are you going to do that? Too tight, do it again. I don't know why you need a tie. You're just a glorified guard dog. No, I'm a proper security guard. Dad said so. He's not your dad, and he never will be. Well, at least he trusts me. I'm the only one he can rely on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Tonight. We can't, can we? We're grounded. That's okay. Bertrand will cover for us. I'll cover for you. Oh, uh, Erin and I are going out tonight. You're skipping training and you want me to lie to your father? Well, if that's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Don't worry about the count. I'll take care of him. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Distracting Vlad. Get rid of it. It isn't an it. It's Erin. Mm. That half breed still has her fangs into my Vladdy. They're going on a <clears throat> date tonight. Excellent. Ambush them. Get rid of her. Job done. Now, with respect, this problem may require more. Finesse? Subtlety is for breathers. I don't think so. You're Vlad's father and his regent. Why don't you show him where his true duty lies? Because... I don't want him to hate me. Look, we need a clever plan. We have to make it look like an accident and frame somebody else. But who? Because I'm worth it. It's 
Sorry, Blood. Doesn't seem very you. <laughs> Duchess of Cambridge, 37. An unmistakable vintage. It's just soy blood. Oh, what a shame. Well, I thought if anyone dared to taste forbidden blood, it'd be you. I've had plenty of forbidden blood. I can always spot a bad girl. Oh, you never met a girl as bad as me. Prove it. You can take me to dinner. In the blood cellar. Eight o'clock. Did you get a message? No. Oh. Well, it's about meeting Vlad. Can you meet him on the balcony instead? Yeah, OK. Thanks. My pleasure. Sunrise. Isn't he supposed to be guarding this place? 
I can handle Wolfie. Seems to me you can handle almost anything. But can you handle this? Giving us five blood tepis, 1488. Just one. <sighs> oh, when your father finds out about this. Your turn? Come on. What are you? A mad, bad vampire or just some stuffy tutor? I take my responsibilities to your brother seriously. Playing nursemaid? It's not as simple as that. What do you mean? Oh, his little crush on the half as if that's going anywhere. Yeah, you're right. She's still hung up on her old breather boyfriend. <sighs> Typical half-fang. Can't ever quite let go of the past. Does Vlad know? No. Could get messy. How messy? <sighs> She's going to meet the ex tonight. And Vlad is at the school gates right now waiting for her. She stood him up. Fantastic. Mm, what a great evening. Dinner and a show. someone no what do you want nothing just wanted to hang out with you what's wrong with that everything go away mm, moody hanging around the school gates on a Friday night fun way to spend it shut up and what's biting your neck nothing you're angry defensive paranoid you know anyone would think you've been stood up what have you done to Erin Erin I haven't done anything to wear it. But you know something. Well, seeing as you are so nicely, I suppose you know that she's gone. To see her breather ex. Those half fangs. Can't ever quite let go of the breather thing. It's all for the best. She'd have dumped you soon enough anyway. Thanks, Ingrid. My pleasure. Is it done? Almost. Well, what good is almost? As we speak, she's trapped on a balcony, she can't fly, and at sunrise, she's toast. Distraction removed. And Vlad? I believe she's gone. And he's already training. Yes.
lack intelligence. Style. Guts. Why are you looking at me? Because you are the blood thief. No, I'm not. Think about it. Where's Erin? Why isn't she here? She's obviously guilty. Exhibit A. Thank you very much. Under forensic examination, particles of your nail varnish were evident in the soy blood that was swapped for my vintage Duchess of Cambridge. 37. Well, that figures. Erin borrowed my nail varnish. Then you won't mind me examining your hand. Exhibit B. Thank you very much. Oh, what a surprise it fits. Pack your bag and go. You can't throw me out. I should have done it weeks ago. Your infection's cleared up. Why are you even here? I have my reasons. Not anymore. Get out now. But the country is crawling with slayers. What if they catch me? Then I'll lend them a stake. They'll want to take me alive. They know I'm the Chosen One's sister. And then they'll use me to find all of you. You wouldn't say a thing, would you? Daddy, I'll draw them a map. No! All right, all right, you can stay. But I don't want to have to look at that stupid girl face all day. I'm enrolling you in school. School? I'm 20. Slayers or school? Make your mind up. Fine, I'll go to school. Think of all the breathers I can corrupt. See ya. Keep an eye on him. He mustn't be alone till sunrise, got it? Did I ask her out? What was I thinking? You weren't thinking. You were feeling. And feelings have no place in your future. Now, let the power fall into you. Who is this ex? She never mentioned an ex. Let the strength flow. Why didn't she tell me herself? You must banish your thoughts of Erin and focus. I can't. This is doing my head in. She must have known I'd rather hear it from her. It's almost dawn. He's gone to find her. Vladimir! Vlad, get inside! Vlad! Vlad! Erin? Someone locked me out. Oh, what a shame. So you better come in now, Vlad. Dawn's breaking. Vlad, go. Please, it's too dangerous. The sun, Vladimir, you won't make it! <laughs> No, really. Oh. Thanks. No, thank you. It was brave. I'm stupid. You could have died. Well, so could you. I'm not a vampire. And as soon as the sun hit you, everyone would have known that. Dad and Bertram would have got you. What are you doing out there, anyway? Meeting you. I was waiting for you at the gates. Yeah, but Bertrand told me to meet you on the balcony. Why didn't you come to look for me? 
Ingrid said you'd gone to see your ex-boyfriend. What ex-boyfriend? And then someone locked you out. Someone's trying to get rid of me. Bertrand or Ingrid? How could you let this happen? You promised me the girl would be gone. It's not my fault that your son can't control his emotions. Don't you ever have a day off? I'm trying to make sure I don't. Mm. Looks good on you. Why did you tell Erin to meet me on the balcony? I was passing on a message. From who? Ingrid. I don't know what you're talking about. So you don't remember telling me that Erin had gone off with her ex-boyfriend? Yes, but I was just messing with you. It was Bertrand that told me. No, I didn't. Now, why would you say that? Can't you see what's right in front of you? It's Bertrand. He's the one pulling the strings around here. You need to stop lying to get yourself out of trouble. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. No problem. But we've wasted a lot of time. Now it's imperative for you to open the predictum in paper. I know, I know. You keep telling me. Yeah, but you don't listen. Flag time's running out. There are other forces at work here. The clan leaders are waiting. They have expectations. Don't disappoint them. If the clan leaders turn against you, there'll be no mercy for you or for anyone you care about. All right, I'll do it. From now on, my number one priority will be opening that book. Good. Starting tomorrow. Today, we're gonna hang out.